Here is another example. The situation is the following. A car is traveling south at 50 miles per hour. And when this car is half a mile north of an intersection, a police car traveling west at 40 miles per hour and located a quarter of a mile east of the intersection uses a radar gun, which measures the rate at which the distance between the two cars is decreasing. And we want to know what is the reading on the radar gun. Note that here we know the actual speed of the car, but we're interested in seeing what the reading on the radar gun is. So here is the situation. We have a car traveling south at 50 miles per hour, and that is presently north of the intersection. The police car travels at 40 miles per hour west and is presently east of the intersection. The first thing we need to do is interpret these speeds, 40 miles per hour for the police car, 50 miles per hour for the other car, as rates of change, rates of change of quantities that we will need to introduce. So of course speeds here are rates of change with respect to time of the position. Both cars are traveling along a straight line and therefore the position can be measured as distance or sign distance with respect to a certain origin on this line. In this case, the natural choice for an origin is to pick the intersection of the path of the two cars. So, let's call x the distance between the police car and the intersection and y the distance between the other car and the intersection. With these notations, the interpretation for the speeds is that dx over dt, the rate of change of the position of the police car with respect to the intersection is the speed of the police car, in other words, 40 miles per hour. On the other hand, y here represents the position of the red car at time t, and therefore dy over dt is 50 miles per hour. Now, the radar gun measures the rate at which the distance between the two cars is changing. In other words, we need to introduce the distance between the two cars, let's call that m, and what we are looking for, the reading on the radar gun, is really the rate of change of this distance. In other words, we want dm over dt, and we want the value of dm over dt at a particular time, at a particular instance, instant, namely, when the red car is half a mile north of the intersection and the police car is one-fourth of a, of a mile east of the intersection. So that gives us specific values for x and y. Note that x, y and m here are all functions of time. And we want to relate the rate of change of m with the rates of change of x and y. We have three quantities varying with time, x, y, and m. And the first step is to see how these three quantities are related. In this right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that the square, the sum of the squares of the sides that form the right angle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. In our case, x squared plus y squared is m squared. Since we now want to have an equation relating the rates of change of x, y, and m, we differentiate this equation with respect to time. All three variables x, y, and m are functions of time. So to differentiate the square of any one of them, we need to use the chain rule to the effect that we get two times the function multiplied by its derivative so that to obtain this uh, equation relating the rates of change, we differentiate with respect to time and obtain 2x multiplied by dx over dt plus 2y multiplied by dy over dt is equal to 2m multiplied by dm over dt. What we are looking for is dm over dt and therefore 
we solve for this particular rate. We obtain 1 over m multiplied by x dx over dt plus y dy over dt. When we have specific values to plug in for x and y, then um, we have everything we need except for m. You see that we don't have a specific value for m. However, it is related to x and y by this equation, x squared plus y squared is m squared, and therefore m can be replaced by the square root of x squared plus y squared. Now we know dx over dt, we know dy over dt, and we have specific values for x and y. So when I plug x equal 1 fourth, y equal 1 half, dx over dt equal 40, and dy over dt equal 50, we plug things in and obtain 62.6 miles per hour. You see that the actual speed of the car is only 50 miles per hour, and the reading on the radar gun is 62.6 miles per hour, which looks like a big distortion. So why is the reading so far off? See that here dm over dt is supposed to give us an estimate of the actual speed, which is dy over dt. But in the formula we have, we have these terms that create a distortion. But if the police car was at rest, in other words, dx over dt is zero, then the term, the blue term in the parenthesis, would disappear. And on the other hand, if we're in this situation, then you see that dm over dt is given by y dy over dt over the root of x squared plus y squared. That is almost 1 over y, provided that x is very small. In other words, we get an accurate reading if x and dx over dt are zero. That means the police car needs to be at rest and needs to be as close to the intersection as possible. We will see some more examples in the next videos.